everyone welcome to tesla technologies my name is anshika goel and today we are going to discuss about the digital design experimental trainer kit which order code is 38722 in this video we are going to perform the experiment for all type of regular digital circuits by using solderless interconnections on drive board as well as we will take the knowledge of compatible optional modules by using patch codes so this is the trainer kit which is mainly made for the training of digital circuits so let's start with our experiments so this is our digital design experimental trainer kit first we will take the knowledge of all components which will be used in this trainer kit or which you will show on this trainer kit panel so firstly we have this power supply section here we have two options of power supply for giving this power supply to this trainer kit one 110 volt and 220 volt so if you want to give the power supply of 220 volt then you have to drag this button this is the button which you can drag it or switch it to both the power supply so if you switch it to uh, position then here you can see it 110 volt means it will switch it to 110 volt you will have to give to this trainer kit to 110 volt by using the varic but if you want to give the power supply of 220 volt then you will switch it to a position then here you can see that the written is here that 220 volt that means we will give the power supply to this trainer kit of 220 volts so here i am using the power supply of 220 volt because i am using the full uh, supply so if you want to give the power supply of 110 volt then you will have to use the varic now the next is this is the power button so by using this you can on and off uh, switch it to circuit now here we have these logic indicators which is mainly used for showing the outputs so here we have given the four leds here so by connecting this you can show the results or you can show the output on these leds so if it is led is blinking that means your output is one and if led is not blinking then uh, this output is zero so this will show the binary outputs one and in zero form now our next is these are the power supply which is given to you so here we have this plus 12 volt this is the ground section this is minus 12 volt and plus 5 volt so uh, most of the digital ics which are we are using in this drive board for making the digital circuits they will need the plus 5 volt so you will have to use the plus 5 volt but somewhere uh, which you will need the plus 12 volt then you can give the power supply of plus 12 volt from this section now our next section is the clock sections so here we have a three different type of frequencies of clock pulse so this is the button by dragging this button you can switch it to different three different frequencies so if this button move to that position that means you have you will have the clock pulse which is having the frequency of 1 hertz if you drag this button slightly in the middle position that means you will now you will have the clock pulse which is having the 1 kilohertz frequency similarly if you move this into the last position that means you will have the clock pulse of having frequency 100 kilohertz so here we have a three different type of frequencies of clock pulse uh, which you will use and here we have a three sections of uh, connections clock ground and clock bar so this is the ground section and by connecting this you can generate the clock pulse on the dso and the clock bar means this is the invert of the clock the position of the clock pulse will become invert if you connect the clock bar position now the next is the logic switch so this is of a logic switch and the data switch these both are mainly used for giving the inputs so if you want to give the binary inputs in the 10 form only then you can uh, you can use the logic switch because here it is a and a bar two connections are there a and a bar in which a is represented as that means you will give the power input to one and if you switch it to a bar position that means you will give the input to zero so a will represent as a one and a bar will represent as a zero in binary similarly with b b will represent as a one and b bar will represent as a zero so if you connect this logic switch that means and you will uh, give the inputs one and zero form but if you want to give the inputs in the binary zero to eight combination then you can switch or you can use these data switch because here we have these four combination four uh, switches so if you uh, drag this switch into zero position that means you will give to the 
zero input and if you switch it to one position that means you will give it to input one so here you will make the different type of zero to eight combination one zero zero one triple one zero zero one zero so like these you will make the combination of zero to eight so these are the binary inputs logic switch and the data switch our next is line source so here we have these pulse so for the experiment if you want to give the pulse then you can connect here and this is the ground section for this pulse and you can also show this pulse on the dso so we will show this pulse on the dso when we will perform the experiments our last component is the brand code in which we will design the different type of digital circuits by using the patch codes so about the different type of ic's which we are using so these are the basic components and this is the DSO in which we will show the clock pulse as well as the line source pulse. So this is the basic components which we use in this digital design experiments till trainer kit. So we have a different type of experiments which will mention in our manual which is given to you along with this. So in this manual we will perform the some type of experiment out of them and we will see the working of different type of these components which will be used in this experiment one by one. So let us start with our experiments. Now we will perform the experiments and we will see the working of one by one all these components. First, we will see the LEDs working by using these power supplies. So we will glow these LEDs by using these power supplies. So by using patch holes and connect this plus 5 holes to this L1 LED and switch on the power supply. Here you will see that we have given the power supply to this kit already. So firstly you will have to give the power supply to this kit and then connect to this plus 5 volts with this L1 LED. So now I am switch on this kit and here you will see that the LED will blow up because we will give the power supply to this plus 5 volts. Similarly, it is for L2, L3 as well and L4. Similarly, we also give the power supply plus 12 volts to these LEDs. Now we will see the clock pulse on our DSO. So firstly, we will connect the clock and the ground section. So for this, so this is our DSO. We are already given the power supply to this DSO also. So this is the channel 1 LED. I am connecting on this channel 1. So firstly, I am giving this uh, clock pulse to this main section. And with the using patch code, I am connecting it ground section. Connecting it to ground section. So here the CRO connected it with our clock. Now we are generating the clock pulse. So by in adjustment, so here you can see it. This is the one hertz, one kilohertz, and hundred kilohertz. So we will see the clock pulse on firstly hundred kilohertz. So by using this scale, you firstly you have to adjust it, reduces its frequency and uh, this is the position button because we are using in the channel 1, that's why we are using this uh, position for uh, adjusting its position. So it is for up and down position on y axis and by using this channel 1, you, uh, you will adjust its amplitude, so for using this you can increase or decrease its amplitude. So I am decreasing it and adjust its position. So here you can see it and this is the position for uh, moving it on y-axis and this is the position for moving it on x-axis for left and right position. So here you can see it. You can adjust its position and from it you can adjust up and down position. And for this channel 1, you can adjust its amplitude. Now we will see check its frequency. So for this, you can adjust its amplitude. 
So here you can see it. This is our clock pulse. Now we will check its frequency because we will switch it to 100 kilohertz. So this will have to be the frequency of 100 kilohertz. So from this major section, you can see it. This is channel one, and this is show off. So so here you can see it. This is all the characteristics or the properties of this clock pulse. So here you can see it. The frequency section, which is 106.5 kilohertz, means the 100 kilohertz. So this is the clock pulse, which is which is having the frequency of 100 kilohertz. Because we are taking the this switch it to 100 kilohertz. Now we will switch it to. Now we will drag this button, the middle position which is having the frequency of 1 kilohertz and we will check the clock pulse so here and drag it and in the middle position and this will be the 1 kilohertz frequency so now we will regenerate this pulse and check its frequency so similarly this is the this is our clock pulse now we will see and by this position button you can adjust its position on the y axis Now we will see its frequency, similarly major section, here just show off, here you can see it, the frequency 1 kilohertz, so this will show the frequency of 1 kilohertz, this is the clock pulse which is having the frequency of 1 kilohertz because it will switch it to uh, this, switch it to 1 kilohertz, if you will to switch it to 1 hertz then it is generating the clock pulse which is having the frequency of 1 hertz, so likewise you can generate the clock pulse. Now we will see the pulse line force on DS mode. So we connect this ground to ground section and this is main section to line pulse. Now we will see the line pulse on DS mode. So this auto side. Here you can see it. The line pulse is shown to you. For this you can uh, adjust its amplitude. Similarly which will be done uh, in our previous experiment. Uh, so, by using this channel 1, this is position button. By using this, you can adjust this position left and right and uh, up and down. And from this major section, you can also uh, check it, all the amplitude, frequency and all other characteristics. So here, these are the period, uh, period amplitude, frequencies, maximum, minimum. So all are the characteristics of this wave are, will be shown to you. So from here you can check it frequency, amplitude as well. Now we will get the experiment of this logic switch and we will glow the LEDs by using this logic switch. So for this, firstly we have a, a different this uh, CRO connection. So we have P the clock pulse and the line source on this PRO. Now, we will give this these line source of this LED button and you can see it, the LED will glow up. Here, we will take the signal of this line source to this LED then it will glow up. So, from this also you can glow up the LED. Now, we will switch it to all logic switch section. So here, by connecting this one LED with this A section and the second LED will connect with this A bar section. So here you can see it, when it is switched to A position, then the LED which is connected with A will glow up. And when it is switched to A bar position, then the LED will glow up which is connected with this A bar section. Similarly, we can connect it for B and B bar as well. So, if you connect this B, B section, then the LED will glow up, and if you connect this B bar section, then this LED will glow up, which is connected to B bar. Now, we will switch it to data switch section, and we will check it like by connecting these sections, our LED will glow up or not. So, for this, I am connecting all these four switches to the four LEDs and check all the eight combinations which will be done in the binary 0 to 8. And we will check the LED will glow up or not. So, here you can see it. I am connecting all these four switches with these four LEDs. And all, the, uh, all these switches 
will do uh, initially zero position. So all the LEDs will not glow up. All these LEDs will stop. Now, if I switch it to one position, then here you can see it. This will connect with this LED, then it will glow up. Now I'm correct. I'm switching to one position, then the second LED will glow up, and it will to switch it to zero position, then this LED will not glow up. And now the third one, then the third and second LED will glow up. So similarly, you will have to make the different combination of zero to eight when you perform the experiment. So one by one, you can perform. So uh, like zero zero, firstly zero zero zero. So all LED will glow up. Now we have to uh, make the combination of zero 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 one to zero 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 and one. Now this one, like two zero one zero zero. Then the second LED will glow up means it uh, will show the output of your two. So similarly, you will make or you have to make zero to eight combination of binary inputs and you will see the outputs on these four LEDs. Now we will have. Now we have done all the components working. All the components with this. Now we will perform the experiment by using or by making the electrical circuit on this breadboard by using the patch board. So here, this is the manual which is given to you along with this kit in which all the experiment, experiment processes are clearly mentioned step by step. So from here, you can take the reference of this manual for performing the experiments. So there are seventeen experiments are written on this manual. So some of them which will be performed on this breadboard. So firstly, uh, I'm using or I am performing the experiment of this man gate. So here you can see it the IC which we are using on for performing or for creating the man gate. We are using the seven four zero zero IC. So here this is the IC uh, section. I see all these. ICs are also given to you. These all the ICs which are using on in seventeen experiments. So from these IC box, you can take it here. Also the distance and energy also given to you. So for magnet, we are using or we need the IC of seven four double zero. So here you can see it. This is the IC of seven four double zero. We are using it and perform the experiment on the breadboard. So from here you can collect according to these collections all the ICs numbers. So here you can take the inputs and outputs and this is and from the ground supply. So all these pin numbers are clearly mentioned in this uh, diagram. So from it you can collect all these collections according to this and from this truth table you can verify it whether it is uh, working or not. So normally all these experiments are also given. So firstly we will perform the experiment of man gate. So first we will place this IC to this breadboard section. So first we will give the power supply to this fourteen number of pin. So here these are the seven and these are the seven on back side. So these are totally are the fourteen pins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So for this fourteen pin, we have to given the power supply. So I am connect this fourteen pin with the power supply of plus five volts. These are all the digital ICs which they need plus five volt power supply for working. Now for the seventh number of for the seventh number of this IC, we have to connect the ground section. So this is the seventh section. So I am connect this. Connected this seventh number of pin with the ground section. So now, now I am giving the inputs and the outputs. So we have to given the inputs of A and B on the pin number one and two of the seven double four zero seven four double zero IC. So on the pin number one, we uh, we are giving the input of One and zero. So we have given the input in binary form. Only one and zero form. Not we will. We we have to make the combination. So I am using this logic switch. You can also use the data switch and the logic switch both. But I am using the logic switch A section. Now for the second input, I am using this B section on the pin number of two. 
so we have completing the input connections now we will give the we have to take the output on the pin number 3 so here you will count it 1 2 and 3 so on the pin number 3 3 you will have to take the output so for giving the output we have to connect it with led because we are taking the output on this led if this led is glow up then it will show the result one and if led will not glow up then it will show the result zero so we have done the connections of land gate in which we are using the 7400 ic firstly i am connecting the vcg power supply on 40 number of pin ground section on the 7th number of pin and the one pin number 1 and 2 we are giving the inputs with this logic switch A and B and on the pin number of 3 we have to take the output by connecting it with this LED. So now we on this pin and here for this uh, by this strip table you can match it. So firstly this will be the 0 0. So firstly here I have told you this A will represent as 1 and A bar will represent as 0, B will represent as 1 and B bar will represent as 0. So here you can see it, the switch will already in the position of B bar and A bar means 0, 0. So on the of 0, 0 we have given the uh, we will output of 1. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact your Tesla Technologies. You can find the link in the description box. From there, you can visit it for related these products. For more information, you can go through the manual also. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe our channel. Thank you.